How you doing? This regular meeting of the Ypsilanti School Board of Education <coughs> meeting to order. And our first item of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. The board would like to invite everyone to stand and join with us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. takes us to adjustments to the agenda board. I'd like to add or request one adjustment to add uh, item A1 uh, for comments regarding the board's agenda for Saturday. Any objection to that? All right. Seeing no objection, does anybody remember the board have anything else to bring? Seeing none, let's move on to public comment. At this time, I'm actually not aware of anybody wishing to make public comment. Does any member of the board have a purple card that we missed? Seeing none, that takes us to action items. Our first action item, enclosure number one, is the concession. Oh, beg your pardon. Thank you. Much. I must be working with the old agenda. Mr. Mr. Martin. Yes, tonight we have Ms. Shelton here with us. She is a uh, teacher at Ypsilanti Middle School uh, for special education. And every year, Ms. Shelton uh, puts together a pretty uh, gifted team of individuals, and they go and compete in our Special Olympics basketball. Um, in the Special Olympics basketball program, um, and that's one of the things that you'll be asked to uh, make a decision on tonight as far as <coughs> of the overnight trip, should they or when they make it to the finals, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, this weekend <laughs> at districts in Saline, um, if you look at the page on basketball, you'll see some, you'll see a picture of some guys on the bench. And that will let you know that we actually came in second yeah, in the district, which means the traditional team will not be going to state. Um, but we will be going to um, regional unifieds um, in two weeks. So um, the kids were really disappointed. Actually, to come in second, we, we actually just lost one game. So they were winners the whole season until uh, the Hot Shots beat us. And the game before that, we, um, we beat the, uh, the team we played 23-49. Um, to 49. And my guys, they were like so excited, and then all of a sudden, they got whipped. <laughs> so they were very uh, disappointed. But they were going to come today, and they chickened out. Actually, several parents could not make it. So I brought some brochures, and I brought my friend in our area. Um, she, she was our um, director for Area 20, which is the area that Ypsilanti and Willow Run Special Olympics is in. Willow Run has also partic participated in Special Olympics. As, um, as a matter of fact, the first time I met Ms. Lisiski, uh, it was on a Special Olympics uh, field. She was the coach here in Willow Run when I started. So she has Special Olympics in her heart. So um, Anne is here. And she's our area, um, she's the state special projects director. So 
I thought I would have her give you a little bit of information about Special Olympics. Um, I guess you've been involved in Special Olympics quite a bit too, sir. Thank you. Uh, recently, we just had a, um, there was a huge fundraiser at U of M, the Polar Pond, she'll see pictures of the Polar Pond. <coughs> And um, there was $130,000 raised, I believe that last count. Um, that money will go to the state and part of it will come back to our area. Um, but Ann's going to tell you a little bit about the Special Olympics program and how it's co-curricular and unified. And um, we're hoping that some of you will plunge and help us raise Money next year. Do we have any volunteers? Mr. Chair. That's pretty good. And to help you not forget, I have oh, wow. t-shirts for each of you. Oh. <laughs> so um, at the end of the meeting, I'll, I'll have your t-shirts for you. Thank you. Thank you. And Ann's going to. So thank you for having me. Um, I work out of my, my home office in Ann Arbor, but I'm a state representative for Special Olympics Michigan. And I was hoping to just briefly, I know that your time is very limited, give an overview of all the things that we have in uh, our program and how we partner with schools to offer a lot of opportunities to your students and our athletes. So starting with our young athlete program, we have a two to seven year old program which is, uh, it can be, um, it could be uh, within a classroom or it can be unified within a school. It works several ways in a school. It can be, um, we match up oftentimes within an elementary school, fifth graders as the mentors that help with the younger kids running the program, which makes it kind of a win-win. They get their leadership opportunities and the younger ones build friendships and build skills and uh, build interaction. Uh, we have a free lesson plan that we have um, available to schools if they're interested. We provide training and we also provide um, free play kits. Uh, mm -hmm. The only thing that we ask for is a roster of names and they do not need a physical or anything like that for this program. Another program that we have is our, um, our Get Into It curriculum, which is a service learning uh, program is divided into four different segments um, and is a youth leadership program. It's really meant for our general ed students to also work with our special ed students, but it really is an anti-bullying and uh, a leadership program. That also is available for free. Um, teachers can sign on and download any of the lesson plans. Um, there's additional activities and there's a sign-on place for students as well that do um, leadership games and different interactions uh, via internet. The other thing that we have is Project Unify, which is a, um, it is funded by the Department of Education and we have partnered nationally, our organization has partnered nationally to run this program. In Michigan, we have over 60 schools that are working in Project Unify, and it's a, again, youth leadership and a unified sports program. So the students are really planning and running the program within the school. They're partnering up with Gen Ed and Special Ed are the leaders in the program. They're deciding what they want to do, they're doing community service together, and then they're also doing uh, unified sports. So they're playing together on a team. Um, I have heard nothing but positive feedback on that program. And uh, currently we're running annually on a grant. So we do have a little bit of money to support it. And we hope to continue doing that. Part of the money from the Polar Plunge will pay for Project <coughs> So. Um, our, our traditional sports program, we offer 23 sports within uh, the state of Michigan for um, our special ed kids, but we also, most of those are now unified, and so we can partner kids up, gen ed and special ed, to play on a team together, and the outcome of that is amazing. Mm -hmm. the, 